One of the best athletes in this light heavyweight division enter the former champion out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. A lot of people were excited when he came off of Dana White's Contender Series and won the title, the first Contender Series alum to realize UFC gold. And were it not for an Achilles injury sustained on the basketball court, this man would probably still be the champion. But he has gone through the rehab. He has gone through the recovery and believes he has come out the other side a stronger version mentally, physically, and emotionally. Only time will tell, but a big spot for Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Politan! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill perhaps has the most accurate nickname on the roster. Certainly he has left a lot of bodies in his wake over the last several years. Jimmy Crute and Johnny Walker getting knocked out in round one. And we'll see what Jamal Hill can do here tonight. Certainly the challenges figure to get stiffer as he vaults into legitimate light heavyweight title contention. But he believes he will have the striking advantage over every light heavyweight on the roster, including the opposition here tonight. Right back. Immediately right back. gets the underhook. Right now they separate. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the tap. And just inches. 
inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice. Nicely done. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Nice jab. Oh. oh, nice body shot. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like they let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Alex Pereira gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, oh another huge bounce strike right landed by him there. Right How much more can one man take? Oh, body shot. Oh, big knee to the body. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the... All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pereira. Right on the button. Hook coming, it's blocked. Sweet Dreams Hill's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Jamal Hill. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. <laughs> Beautiful strike. Notice the yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Back to his feet. Big right hand. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Under two minutes to go. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed. And he can... Oh, no! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing 
and by doing that, he's missed some chances to end this fight. Sweet Dreams Hill's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that... Oh! oh there it is! Alex Pineda with a huge knockout tonight! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Politan Herrera! Wow, what else can you say about Alex Pereira? We have called most of his UFC fights, but another knockout tonight. This dude's just devastating. I mean, these moments are now starting to be reserved for him because he's the one of the only guys in the UFC that can really make us stand here, mouth open, taken aback because he possesses that type of ability. Just another beautiful knockout by Pajeda.